Right guys, welcome back to another video. Today, something really different, something I've never done before. Proper awesome one, you're gonna love this. So today we're joined by Bex, all the way over there. And uh, yeah, got about a half mile to walk to the location, so we will uh, pick it up when we get there. Folks, look what we have got today. This is gonna be awesome. Um, the only caveat is, we're gonna need to come back in maybe an hour or so and hopefully this water is um, subsided quite substantially and you can get around the props as well. Right, change of plan folks. I've just walked like maybe 10 feet over here and like it's literally a few inches here. So we might be able to get away with it. Yeah, your, your wellies are not very high and mine are pretty high. So it's literally going out maybe an inch every sort of five minutes. And when you stood here talking a little while, it does go quick. Well, it is quite, um, what's the word? Okay. It's a bit spongy. Oh, I don't know. You might just do it. I reckon I will. Or you might yeah, have to wait. I reckon I will. Oh. We can always wait another 10 minutes and it'll go, it'll go down. <laughs> what do you reckon? Bex has just pointed out as a chair there. Always a chair for a sit down, although I don't fancy that one. No, I wouldn't. I don't fancy one. that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that a mess. Right, guys. Good luck. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It does not look safe at all. Oh, one slip. One slip. Oh, that was quite nice. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, this is big. Yeah. So it is actually. Yeah. You're making me very nervous right now. Oh my god. This is really tense watching you do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You okay up there? Was that easy? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Oh, don't even say that. Safety additions. <laughs> Folks, we made it up. <laughs> Bex made it up. We had to, uh, I got up pretty easy, but we had to improvise. Uh, luckily there's some other guys on board here exploring it, so shout out to them for giving us a hand. Um, yeah, we had to improvise. Where is it? There. Yeah, we had to improvise just a little bit and uh, get another stepladder over, tie it with a ratchet strap together. Yeah. And um, that allowed Bex to come on board and um, check it out with us. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be a good one. Never done anything like this before. This is certainly a unique one, you could say. I was just gonna say, you said we were coming to see the house. The house, the yeah. house. The house. Not a boat. <laughs> yeah. I love it, I'm yeah. for it. I'll show you the tide, guys, how far it's gone out. It's crazy. Yeah, look how much the tide's gone out. So we've probably been, what, a half hour at best, and that's gone out considerably, like it's below the boat now. But yeah, that's a better shot of uh, our improvisation. So while he's measuring uh, a certain something, <laughs> we will um, crack on. So let's go and see the uh, the drivers. Nanica, oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, Nana Granite Plate, that is. No, it's said Nana Granite Plates, they're everywhere. It's like we're back in an house. Yeah, this is below deck. So there's um, several floors to this. We can go down in the engine room and I think there's some other little rooms down below. Possibly, maybe a galley, possibly some bedrooms. But we're gonna find out, folks. But first, first, we're gonna have a look in the driver's cab. Up we go, folks. It does make a change to do something different, has to be said. Very nice to do something different, actually. This is very different. 
It is. <laughs> Crane. Very old stuff. Well, that would have been his setup. I say him. Could have been a she. Oh, wow. There's enough for two up here. Well, that's a nice comfy chair. Oh my God. Wow. Look at this little, um, little teacups. This is good stuff, guys. So we got Distress, Amps, Aerial Tune. Wow, look at this. I don't know what sort of um, year this ship is. Probably pretty old, maybe 60s, 70s. Oh, it's quite spacious. It is, yeah. Oh, no. Got some Coke, got kettle, tea, coffee. Weymouth to the needles. Wow. God, look how cute this is. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Another door. Has that got a date on? Would it be on the. Uh, is that a date? It's like it's back to front, but it's mirrored. Mirror. Yeah, let's no. have a look. Printed in England. Right, what we got in there then? What is that, actually? Hang on. Let me breathe in and out. It's, it's in. Um... I had a context there. Like, uh... yeah. Fuel injector testing instructions, fuel filter, air cleaner, cylinder head. Maintenance book and that guide. It... For the engine? No, I mean, I don't even know now. Maintenance. Every effort must be made to maintain the engine in a clean condition and oil leaks must be dealt with as soon as they occur. There you go. Well, there we are. What's in there, Bex? Just this box here, look. Oh, that one. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. Without these are drawers. Though. Anything in these drawers? Oh, like a ruler. Yeah, clean films. Clean well, film, yeah. spare bulbs. Some tape. Got some Heinz mayonnaise. It has to be Heinz, folks. It has to be. <laughs> I can't get over this. This is... Uh... We're on a boat, Steve. There's the um, power lever. Yeah. You may as well... Oh, we've got a popcorn bowl. Wicked. As an old flashlight. Are you, like, Are you uh, manoeuvring the chair? As always. Sat here. Oh, I'm not going to sell that. That looks mouldy. It, it looks, looks tempting though. Really it looks real. good, but I'm not going to do it. How do you? There's probably a button you have to press in to. You can move it. It's not going to. We're not going to take off, are we? Take off. <laughs> I'm going to speed down the uh, <laughs> the straight. I've got some old dials there. Temperature. Amps, fever tree. Just noticed this here as well. Do you know what all these bits and bobs are? Or oh, I haven't got a clue, but what I do know is that's a fridge and it's your turn to open it's it. It's not my turn though. Oh, I'm doing it. It's not, I'm right beside it. Oh, no oh, kidding. No. no way. No. It doesn't Chestnut well. mushrooms, well, chestnut brown sauce. Don't even go there, Bex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you seen what's next, by the way? No. Are you not seeing what's next? No. Do you want to see what's next? Yeah. Come over here. Da da. No way. Da da. Oh my god, it goes down. This is crazy. Yep, I, I was determined to get you on it. Thank you for getting me on it. Thank you, actually. There's something different, isn't it? It's it is. Cool. Guys, like and subscribe for this because this is like never done before. Well, I've certainly not done anything like this before. I've tried and failed, but this is the first time. Oh, we've got the red light, we've got the green light. What is going on? Why is my light doing that? Why is my light doing that? So I'm right. You want a disco? I don't know why it's doing it. Why is it doing that? That's better. Right, let's go in there first. Wow. Hey, Henry. So this is a bedroom. Obviously, um, <laughs> that is the window smashed. We got a TV. I didn't even see 
got a TV. Can you check this, Mr. Oh, just yeah, it just swings. Yeah, we got a TV. It's quite a big TV. Yeah, that's probably a 37 inch, something like that. There's a little. Oh, what's in there? <gasps> oh, that, so that'll that just be like a. Um... Let the steam out. Steam out, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know yeah. that. So we've got a radiator here. This is the, the bedroom. That door. That's the bedroom there. It's pretty cosy, actually. There's a lot of um, chinaware here, like saucers, teacups. Oh my God, it is actually, isn't it? That window's uh, still there. Yeah, what a nice little bedroom. Yeah, have a look. I think I just can't, whoa. Plate. Climb on in. It is a bit snug, isn't it? It is. What the hell? <laughs> I think that's the engine room. Does it go down? Is there a ladder that goes down? That'd be the engine room, yeah. We so do that, we do the rest of this floor. I'm gonna have to be careful with this door because it's got a tendency to, that's it. Got some nice wallpaper. It's quite homely down here. Even got a nice carpet. Here's a, a better shot of the, the living quarters here. So captain's bedroom maybe? What's in here? I guess what's in here. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was a toilet. It's just a storeroom. Wow, guys. So yeah, living living quarters, more beds. We got cups, saucers, plates, bowls. Windows still open. This is, this is some, oh, that's very raspberry. This is insane. We're on a freaking ship, Bex. We're on a boat. Oh, wow, the old fire. The old fire there. Coat hangers, mosaic. Quirky. So that'd be uh, switch panels. Do you think a man or a woman lived here? I'm gonna say woman, because why else would you ask me? Definitely a woman. Really? What's on there? Her name. Oh. Is it Jennifer? It's not. Oh. No, it's a very like British name though. Okay, British name. Uh, let me think, let me think. I'm assuming. I don't know. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yeah, that's a British name. I'm assuming, I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Is for a sea fishing rig. No, sea a few. Fishing. A few sea fishing rigs. There's the emergency hatch, folks. They got two. They're greedy. Oh, let's pop that door open. Right. Let's swing on through here. Oh, there's an upstairs. Yeah. So what is in here? Is this the shower room? This got to be the shower room. Yeah, that's the shower tray there. Shower tray. Lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So what's this in? Some pine units. What are these tampons? Definitely a woman then. Yeah. Definitely a woman. What's going on out here? Oh, they're making a run for it. They better not be moving our ladder. Yeah, our ladder's still there. That's our ticket out of here. There's some lettuce here. Do you fancy a lettuce dish? A dish of lettuce. What we got there then? A date. Well, I can guarantee this ship's been here longer than that. Yeah, I would have thought so. There's no, upstairs. No. I think that's probably just a, a way out to the, the deck. So oh, it we're, would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a dead end. She painted everything pink. It's a proper uh, good old door, that though, isn't it? Yeah, she had a good old paint scheme going on here. So what do we got? What's that unit? Interesting. She did start her blue. Wardrobe. It is very feminine actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite early. It's like lavendery purple. Wow, more dinner plates. She had a big old ship to leave behind though, didn't she? Do you think she worked here or squatted here? Uh, I'm gonna say maybe worked here if, worked if she's here. gone as far as to paint the walls and... Is this Oh, it's like a wine oh, that's a fridge. Thing, wine fridge, yeah. Like a wine rack fridge. Double decker one as well. 
Is that the paper you just picked up? Mm, yes. It is. Yes, it is, yeah. Wow. This is bonkers. <laughs> it is brilliant. What I might do is put that board over the window. It helps keep some of the cold air out then, doesn't it? Oh, hey, what you found? Is there more, more stuff under there? It's like she started packing. You know when people wrap their dogs. Oh god, there's and... a that is proper under the bed, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, look at that in there. Look at all that. Fine china. Yeah. I can see some shoes over there as well. I have to say, my new flashlight is much better. I like it. I don't know if you can tell on the uh, the footage, guys. It's not quite so focused. It's very nice. She's got loads of tissues under her bed. No idea. That is bonkers, that is. This is the engine room. I need to watch I don't bang my head. So I'll just show you a few bits before we head down the ladder. I'll switches. And it smells like an engine room as well. And I'm kind of glad I'm wearing wellies. Yeah, there's another ladder there. So that must have been a hatch from the, uh, the roof. So, being a ladder, I'm going to 180 myself. She had it fully kitted out, but she or he, whoever, had it fully yeah. kitted out. Yeah, right, down I go. Yeah, you can't go wrong with metal. Oh, you can smell it. Yep. Oh my God. I instantly see a Halford's battery. Brilliant. Wow. Hang on, Bex. So yeah, that's just a bit behind us. Oh God, it is proper. Whoa. Right, I'm gonna move wow, out your way. And that's the, that's the main engine block. Just move out of the way so Bex can come in. This is crazy. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, look at it. You can even um, put some weed killer, spray some weed killer about. So yeah, that is the uh, the bottom of the ship. That's the, well, well I guess that's the main engine block. Engine Scania, block. that's a lorry engine. They, uh, they make lorries. Yeah, so fun fact guys, they actually use uh, diesel lorry engines in some diesel trains. So I'm not actually surprised to see that. That's gotta be some kind of air system, isn't it, there? Leading up to there. Wow, this is brilliant. Let's move on. Uh, not accessible. No, it's just like the bowels of the ship. Do you know what this yellow thing is? Maybe some sort of tank? Storage tank? Let's see. Lube. It's got a tap there anyway. These are probably either backup batteries or... Um, You'd have to have them, wouldn't you? That's quite a few, isn't it? Yeah. Got a few tools and, and stuff in there. Never in my life have I seen something like this. No, that is crazy stuff, isn't it? Right, so that is pretty much the engine room. Um, so we'll head back up, guys. We'll head back through the, uh, the driver's cab area back onto the main deck and we'll pick it up and show you the rest. There's still more to see yet. Iceberg right ahead. <laughs> so guys, yeah, that would have been the driver's position on the ship as they're, uh, well, driving it. So yeah, that would have been their view from the front window on this rather comfy looking chair. So how about that guys? How about that? So folks, we just come out of there so this is the front, so we're going to have a look around the other side of the ship now. I'll just show you. Yeah, that's how far it's come out. That is crazy. These kind of, um, I don't know what they're called, they're not groins, but you know, the, the runners out to sea. It's almost like that's what you'd use to slide ships out onto sea. I thought they were like parking spots for boats. No, I don't think so. They might be. Without a snow, but they go for miles. There's these big like concrete blocks. Some of it might be left from the war, I don't know, but yeah. I'd say we're a good, well, at least 20, 25 feet up. And the, yeah, the tide is gone. So that's the other door there. Um, so yeah, we'll head down this side. 
So the other guys are still here actually. So yeah, you've got a mega concrete base, which is obviously for ballast, center of gravity and all that. Um, but there's a lot of like clutter and stuff down there. So there is a lot to see guys. It's not over yet. We're gonna have to crouch here. So let's do it. There we go. I'm gonna switch hands. You can stand up now. We're shielded from the wind. It's a big tight hole in, isn't it? A cover for the ship. Right, got a duck again. Cobwebs, a lot of cobwebs there. So yeah, that is, I'm not gonna go up there. Right, we've got inspector ready. This is the bit I missed. I missed this. Oh, dang. And you've got other bits up the front, but you got front there. There's another hatchway you lift up and have a look down. Woo! I clearly missed this. Secret compartment. We're going to have to add this in. Here's Pompeii, folks. And a nice, beautiful moon behind. Yeah, look at it. He banged his head. Oh. Bang, banged his head with the old. Um, I'm not going to be the moon in the back. I'm not Pompeii that much. I'm going to be Scarface. Double moon. Scarface, yeah. Uh, right. Oh, that's a big old light. So, yeah, we are at the front here. Wow. Yeah, you've got some old paints and stuff. Wow. This is the anchor. Look at the anchor here, guys. Wow. Slightly loose chain. No way. What is going on around here? What are you doing around here? Just here, like. Is there a hatch? Don't go down again. Yeah, Can we down. get down there? Don't let that drop in there though. No. Oh, we can get oh, down. Well, they got, they got Sorry guys, you're upside down right now so you can see what's in here. Not much. It's proper in the bows of the ship, isn't it? Well, that is A1, folks. Top seat of the house. It's like a little uh, sequin jacket, huh? Pretty cool. Is that a big COVID mask, man? Yeah. Is this a delivery box? <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. To look into the, Pretty cool, uh, yeah. There's a uh, Hogwarts yeah. trunk. Wow. Awesome stuff. There's a, uh, a vice there. Oh, right. Oh, Dyson. Hey. Oh, the right. Yeah, the... Uh, I see what you mean now. Do you not like that, mate? Don't like you don't like stockings? Even What's wrong with you? On that note, folks, we shall climb the ladder and resume back into the uh, the video. Presumably there were steps here, a ladder, which you can see remnants of, but not anymore. Um, so yeah, that is the top of that. See the top of the ship there. So we're heading back round. Oh, there's the ladder there, look. Oh, okay, yeah, that is what's... That's what I'm yeah. <laughs> you make it look so easy. Because it is, relatively. There we go, I can pretty much walk down now. I've just arrived at a garden centre. Come down forwards, it's actually easier. Contrary to um, what you think. No, what well, you can do. Right, we are down at the base, guys. So, in there would have been part of the engine room, I'd imagine. That's rather flooded. Yeah, engine room in there and stuff. You could get a fair few cars on there. There's a seat there. Look at this here. I just realised I can actually walk in this because I can. So I shall. No particular reason why, I just want to, just because I can. Want to play a game? Right, let's have a look down this way, folks. I like that ladder. I could... That's awesome. I mean, that's what it's for. It's for, for getting on and off board, I think. That's probably what it's for. It's a better ladder. It's brilliant. 
it's aluminum as well so it's relatively light i mean it's heavy but it, it's light in contrast to still to something that big spare tire anyone got some horns there look stick those on my head could uh, get people out of my way in the shop with those on my head. Are they actual like ship horns though? Yeah. They'd be quite high in um, treble, I'd say. They wouldn't be bassy or anything. Some random stuff. Oh, you know what that is, right? Oh, God, I thought that was a rat there. Oh, no. That thing moving, but the ball. What is that? Is it a tennis ball? Yeah, it could be. That's a fish tank. Is it? I think so. Well, I could be wrong. Look at the chairs in here, guys. I'm spoiled for choice. There's a lot of car parts on here, though, like CD tape decks, oh, yeah. dashboards. Yeah, there's a proper dashboard over there. Suspension, struts. Oh, is it try on jacket time, Bex? Not for me, eh? Not for me either. <laughs> That's too small for me. Got a toilet. There's always a toilet. We can have a toilet right in, it turns out. I don't know what we'll give that. Look at the water in there, look. Just in this bit here. This bit here. It's just bulging down. Here's the other door here, look. Door panel. That looks like a. Oh, is that Mercedes? It could be Mercedes, I don't know. It's a massive ship like there. Look at that. Oh, that's quite good with oh, a wow. look at that. Nice. Oh look. Hang on. <coughs> oh, it's a bit red. <laughs> Let's get this party started, folks. <laughs> like and subscribe. Do it now. I was an ABBA fan. We're all ABBA. ABBA? ABBA. Mm. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. This uh, orange rope looks pretty nice. Looks pretty new. Very fibrous. Is that like a curtain there? Yeah, I think so. See, there's jump leads and stuff. Jump leads. Jump leads, yeah. A pair of socks. What is that? It's a little iron, is it? Travel light iron? Is that like a little travel iron? Actually, I don't know. Could be. Where's the... Oh, no, maybe not, actually. I don't know what that is. Who knows? Look at the state of these. Look. What have you found here? Massive, like, wooden pillars. Who are they? Like, for a landing, for a mansion or something like that. Uh, like wardrobe door type things, yeah. yeah. A lot of unfinished, unfinished business. Yeah, this is just a woman's ship. This is all her stuff. Perfect. Is it heavy? Is it heavy? It is quite heavy. No, it's not, is it? You make it look very it's easy. Not, it's not heavy, but it's heavy for what it is. <laughs> oh, that's a very nice smooth pebble. Look at that. Look at all that. That is smooth, smooth operator. Oh, look at this. Part of the uh, the seabed. Oh, it's a bit of coral reef. It is a bit of coral reef, yeah. It's quite nice. They do actually live. Yeah, they do, yeah. Look at that. That's oh, quite, yeah. That's quite pretty, actually. Very nice. Just to show you uh, up here, there's actually a little hatch in there. That's probably just like electric cables and stuff in there. But yeah, this is right on the top of the ship, kind of where we started. What do you reckon? Different, eh? Very different. Very different indeed. Another little ship right there, look. That one didn't make it. That one was not quite so lucky, was it? You just noticed these shells there. Um, interestingly guys, this hatch opens, I'll lift it up for you, you can have a look. Oh, it's heavy, what's in there? Oh no, that's the escape hatch down into the living quarters. Oh, you did say about this bit. Yeah, there we go. Well, there we are. 
there we are. Just to show you guys now before we head down, look how much the tide has actually come out. It is proper out. And um, yeah, so we've got the ladders, the extra addition to the ladders, and the guys have kindly put a few uh, stepping stones a couple of feet apart just to make it a bit easier. Right guys, I think that is pretty much it, you know. So um, we'll try and get off of this joint and we're uh, picking back up in the outro. Makes it look so easy. The ratchet massively helps. <laughs> so guys you made it down as you may have seen and we're just gonna have a look around look at the propellers in a sec um so yeah they're just making their way down so uh, yeah let's go and check the props folks the props aren't that big actually neither's the rudder to be fair and the draft isn't massive either so we don't know so i'm kind of see why it wasn't that deep in the engine room not every day you see this, is it? Oh, the bottom of a ship. So cool. I like the cool. colours, like the, the tone, different tones of colours, but it's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, look at it, guys. Wow. One propeller, and that's it. Really? One propeller. Really? I mean, to be fair, it's not a massive ship, really. Is it? Well, that is the other side of it. That is the other side of it, guys. That is, that is good stuff, isn't it? Just a close up of the prop, guys. That is the prop. There isn't too much in the way of cavitation on the, uh, the propeller. Uh, obviously, cavitation is the is where the water boils around the, the the edge of the prop, and that's caused by the low pressure which is generated when it turns, um, and that kind of eats away at the propeller. So, uh, yeah, not too much in the way of that. Maybe add a replacement prop not long before it's decommissioned. That could be my guess. There's a few almost like cuts there, like someone's tried to angle grind it off. Yeah, just little bits and pieces you wouldn't normally see this side of a ship. These old shells here, look. I don't know how long these have been here. But yeah, certainly something interesting, guys. Sorry if I'm shouting. I don't know how it's coming out because obviously we got the uh, the road behind us. And that's the, uh, the massive rudder there. That's the other side of the rudder. Very rusted, though. Very rusted indeed. So guys, we've just come around the other side a bit more just to give you a better perspective um, of the scale of it. But yeah, not, not a relatively massive boat, but it's uh, nevertheless, it's cool to see. So uh, yeah, it's definitely been something different. It's, uh, it's been a cool little gem, this. Right, yeah. folks, that is the end of the Explorer. The weather's certainly coming now, isn't it? Now it is. Yeah, but that was a proper awesome, unique one. Never done anything like that. You certainly haven't. No. <laughs> I've tried and failed before. Um, but yeah, proper, proper decent one. It's good to walk around it and yeah. see, see the, the belly of the ship, so to speak, and the, the propeller. So yeah, thanks for Bex for joining us. Drop a like, drop a comment, let us know what you thought of it. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Yeah, move that one as well. That looks good, doesn't it? Different frequencies. That's proper analog, isn't it? This is Radio Victory.
Gunman. This is what it would have been like at night, maybe, with the with the yeah, red light. Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't like daze you, does it? This is good. Just experiment with some coloured lights. Yeah. The strobe. Bloody hell. Can't test some colours. <laughs> We're rocking two O lights, folks. Rocking two O lights. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, stick two, two beams on. No, we got down there without it. Perfect Ray. <laughs> <laughs> we got the spotlight on Ray. Oh, yeah. I know we're good, that's an ambulance. That's ambulance. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And here we have on stage. And here we have on stage is. I love the spot. I do apologise guys, this is kind of like a two-parter because I've come back and I've missed uh, certain bits and I'm just adding this in as a bit of a come back encore. Come to <laughs> yeah. Come back and um, yeah, this is like a bit of a behind-the-scenes encore which I'll stick at the end of the video. So that's the reason why there's kind of two different portions of this video. This is pretty cool, isn't it? 